Hey peoples, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna do something different than a GTA tutorial because I don't really have any more GTA ideas. So I'm just gonna show you a CryEngine tutorial, Sandbox 2 tutorial. Um, and this is on voxel objects and how to make caves and uh, ledges and things. So let me just explain um, a height map, which is what terrains are. Hold on, where am I? There we go. Um, a height map is just a black and white bitmap that shows the Z axis only. It shows up and down only. Uh, and a voxel object can move terrain in the X and Y axis. Axes. So I'm going to show you over here how to create a voxel object. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a a little bit of terrain just over here. That's probably too big actually. Nah. I'll leave it like that. Um uh, this is just a simple test obviously. So you can do what you like with this. But I got a big block of terrain there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to misc in the roll up bar. Gonna grab a voxel object and place it in the map somewhere. Uh, make sure snap to terrain is on right here. Follow terrain is on. Uh, we're going to place it right there. Alright. If you can't see the big box, hold on shift and space at the same time. So make you see the box. Uh, click the rotate tool. Rotate it in the Z axis to sort of fit the terrain better. Uh, that's good. And just sort of move it around to fit correctly. And if you're making a cave, I like to shrink it down to that height. Not shrink it, but move it down so we can move down in the terrain, if you know what I'm saying. So now that we got that sorted, we're going to go scroll down on the roll-up bar here and click um, uh, copy terrain to voxel and that'll create a funky looking thing. Since the terrain's so sharp, it's going to look a bit messed up, but your version won't, I promise. So uh, kind of do that. Update mesh if you like, play around with that a few times because I'm a bit, um, whatever they call it. Alright, so let's go into the uh, terrain section and click on holes. And we're going to delete, we're going to delete a whole bunch of, uh, sort of terrain bits here, terrain polygons here. Uh, you can delete as many as you like. I'm just going to delete a lot because my hill looks messed up. Make sure you do try this on a smooth, sort of rounded surface. Um, okay, let's go into the voxel painter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a a um, a plane. So go in position here, and sort of place it in the middle of your terrain, like that is what I like to do. It's a very good helping mechanism. Now we're gonna click align to plane. We've got this voxel tool here. Now we're going to click, instead of create, it's going to be a subtract and play around with the radius as much as you like. I'm just going to make it like that. Simply now just drag into the uh, terrain and you've got a nice tunnel-y looking thing. Uh, and you can do as much as that as you like. As much with that as you like. Um, now let's say we wanted to... Oops, I've done a bit too much there. So... You, know, you don't want to go outside your bounding box. So now we want to go down, simply go set up position, rotate the plane in the y axis or x axis or whatever axis you want to work on. Move it to where you want to move it to. It's a very simple process. Grab the align to plane thingy and move it down. With that, and you've got water in your cave. So there you go. That's, um, the basics of the voxel painter you can do um you can create new text not new textures but you can do texture stuff with the voxel tool you can do everything with the voxel tool oh and also make sure while you're doing this if you want to make a big cave click this um call button here to make sure that if you have the call button off the camera will just go like that up your terrain so make sure it's on so you can go inside so we'll just test it out in game, just to show you what it looks like. 
Ooh, pretty cool. We can swim under there. Very cool stuff. I got another one set up over here uh, that I did a while ago. Uh, it's like a little pool thing. Go down in the pool. It's got a big cave. Wow, big stuff. It's just a test, pretty much. This is my testing map. Uh, there we go. So you can make some pretty cool stuff with it. Uh, have fun with it, and uh, let me know of any problems. Uh, see you later, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next time. Oh, it didn't stop.